What is up guys? Pizza Time Gaming here and we're here with the pizza dude. He's munching on some popcorn. He's ready to go. He is super stoked for Trevor Henderson Creatures Part 3. Uh, part 3 of a multi-part series. I think we're going to go four parts with it is how we're looking. Um, you know, we're making through. We've gotten to see a lot of really cool terrifying creatures. Today will be no different. We're going to spawn them. We're going to check them out, see how they look. Uh, probably a couple of them are going to do battle, see who comes out on top. Um, but uh, we're super stoked. You guys are super stoked. Stay tight. We're going to get to it. All right, guys. Welcome back. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to get underway. We're going to get these Trevor Henderson creatures spawned. Check them out, see what they look like. So let's go ahead here. First of all, we are going to start with the humanoid rabbit. So I am going to spawn him and get ready to get the heck out of here. So check this guy out here. So he looks friendly. I don't know. You tell me. Um, he jumps pretty high. He's got some pretty creepy glowing red, or glowing eyes, I must say. Just uh, glowing, not red. Um, but man, can this guy jump? He has some intense jumping. So, not sure how he's humanoid, but he is definitely an aggressive rabbit. Oh, and he just took us out. Took a chomp right out of the pizza. I don't know, guys. Not what the pizza dude had imagined. I am sure. So let's go ahead. We're going to get a weapon here. We're going to get a little bit more armed. Just in case that rabbit comes back around. Tries to take a chomp out of us. So that was the humanoid rabbit. He was pretty fantastic. Looked like, you know, a cute, sweet little bunny rabbit, but I would not trust him. I would not trust him. Let's go ahead and get little nugget out here. Okay, little nugget. Little nugget is not to be messed with. He may be he may be little. He looks little. But he packs a punch, guys. He packs a punch. So that's Little Nugget. Kind of tough to get a really good look at him. But this is how he interacts in the game. He's little. He just kind of scoots across the ground. You can kind of see his big red lips. He's pretty creepy. Um, if you're scared of bugs, you know, maybe you don't like spiders, something like that. Um, you would not want to see this guy crawling across your bedroom floor. Um... I mean, he's not very huge, but he's not, he's bigger than, he's probably about, what would you say? The size of a, of a hamster, maybe? Well, either way, I wouldn't want to see him in my house crawling around. So I'm going to get out of here. See if he's still coming. Is he coming? He's still coming. Let's get rid of them. So let's go ahead and move on to the next guy. Let's get Little Worm out here. So Little Worm is just like his big, bigger cousin or mother, father, should I say, uh, the Bridge Worm. Except he does not peel his skin on his face back. Um, he still is going to attack you. Um, you know, it looks like we've got about one hit left here and we're going to be toast. Um, or crust, should I say? No, maybe not. So he's pretty cool. I mean, if you're a fan of Bridgeworm, which I am, I'm quite a big fan of Bridgeworm, um, he is just like his older, bigger Bridgeworm. Except, you know, just doesn't peel his face back. And actually, now that he ate us, it looks like he has turned into a regular sized Bridgeworm. That is so cool. I did not know that happened. Oh my gosh, so 
I guess there you have it. So now little worm, after he eats you, he turns into bridge worm. So that is super cool. Wow, I did not know that. Okay, well. So if you end up eating, I guess, actually, maybe a uh, little worm likes pizza, I guess we could say, because, you know, part of uh, every balanced diet is eating pizza. I will stand by that. So here is Mothman. Now, I am a huge fan of Mothman. Let's check him out. Now, the legend has it, and I'm not sure. Is Mothman a good guy? Is he a bad guy? I, I just, I really don't know. Um, but there was a bridge that collapsed. Uh, many people had seen the Mothman kind of meandering about, um, you know, hanging around. Um, and... Basically, those who saw the Mothman survived the bridge collapse. So, you know, he is a Mothman. He has wings. He is pretty terrifying. Um, you would think he, he is not a good guy. But, uh, you know, as the legend has it, and those who did see Mothman did survive the bridge collapse. So, terrifying, yes. Maybe a decent guy? Possibly. Did he just kill me in this game? Certainly. So, you know, the jury's out. We'll have to stay tuned. As of now, I'm going to proceed with caution. So, as you see, Humanoid Rabbit is approaching fat. Oh, where did he go? Okay. Okay. I was going to say, am I crazy or was Humanoid Rabbit just right next to me? So, we had to take him out. Let's go ahead and move on to the next guy here. We got Mothman. Let's get Peeping Tom out here. Peeping Tom. Where are you? So now, Peeping Tom has an extraordinarily long neck. Um... Which is probably where he gets his name, Peeping Tom. Because if you were going to peep, do some peeping, a long neck may come in handy. So, Peeping Tom, here you are. Check this neck out, guys. Now, he's not quite the height of a giraffe. But, you know, that neck is quite lengthy. Kind of hard to see him in the dark, but he is pretty creepy. He's got a kind of a pretty, like a little head on him. You know, about the average size head of a human, but that neck. That is one creepy neck. I know if I saw him in a dark alleyway, I would not be thrilled. I would not be thrilled one bit. So that was the regular Peeping Tom. Let's get the killer version out. Now, I know the killer version is just a little more aggressive, whereas the regular Peeping Tom, you know, he's kind of going to walk the opposite direction of you. This guy, one hit and you are toast. So he's just like the other version, except that he is going to walk directly at you as opposed to away from you. So that was Peeping Tom. Let's end this on a high note. Let's get Siren Head out here. Who's not a fan of Siren Head? I absolutely love Siren Head. Here he is, guys. Take a good look at Siren Head. Okay, now Siren Head and Peeping Tom are going at it. Who do you guys think's gonna win? Peeping Tom or Siren Head? My money's on Siren Head. Just because of his size. You'd think he's got an advantage here. Chomp! Peeping Tom is done. But listen. Is that ice cream? Nope. It's Siren Head. So Siren Head is uber cool. 
Big fan of Siren Head. Can we see him or should we spawn another here? Don't see him. Although he's so tall, he would be hard to miss. Let's go ahead and get another one up. Oh, there he is. Let's take a look at Siren Head here. Looks like he's kind of caught on a building, but that's actually good because then we can get a good look at him. Okay, so no, this has not been a test of your emergency broadcast system. This was Siren Head. Okay, check out these sirens, guys. Look at those teeth. Look at this. I don't know about you, but Pizza Dude tells me this is a little too close for comfort. But it is awesome and a great way to get a nice close look at Siren Head here. Oh, he got me. Ooh, that hurt. Okay, so we got Siren Head here in the background, guys. Siren Head is awesome. I'm going to say it again. I love Siren Head. That's going to wrap up this episode, part three. We're going to make this a part four, four-part series, I should say. Um, stay tuned. We're going to get that out just as soon as we can. That'll wrap up all the rest of the Trevor Henderson creatures. Uh, but what a way to end this, guys, with Siren Head. He, now, I love Costume Man, but I, I don't know. Siren Head might be my favorite. So, guys, thanks for tuning in. It's been a real pleasure. I appreciate it. If you liked what you saw, make sure you smash that like and subscribe button. It helps us out tremendously. Again, greatly appreciate it. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great rest of the day. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.